So hello, in this video we are going to introduce MonoGoose for Windows, Windows Privilege Escalation uh, Toolkit. So let's first go to sorry, going to desktop for example. And then we can execute the executable by typing 6040.exe and there is also another version which is 32. So you have to test only on the suitable operating system type which is 64 or 32. So when we hit enter there is some quick information uh, that you are, will be interested in which is if it's vulnerable to raw in the data or not which is will be grab you the status directly and show the correct system path with the current user with the uh, current uh, Windows operating. So uh, if we go to explore the options, we type dash H and you will see some uh, information or some useful operation you would like to use. Uh, for example, uh, enumerate for Windows system information sessions. You can also enumerate installed software. Besides that, you can connect to the Monogus application to explore all these results. Uh, you can search for sensitive files, retrieve network information. You can also search in any file by a specific keyword. Means that you can uh, scan all the uh, device for specific string in all the files. Besides that, you will able to download files directly into the target machine without any using any PowerShell stuff. You can also upload files from the Windows machine to uh, Monogoose web application API directly and you will see you will face a download center that will be very useful. Anyway, we will explore some options together uh, today. So uh, first we will start with enumerating active services. So we type dash s and then we specify the current location of uh, our uh, API dash x follow it with the current password. Then we hit enter. So the results actually have been directly sent to that location. So if we go here and make a refresh, uh, this is the, the the box we are testing on it. So if we go to the results. Uh, you can go, for example, we have made an uh, enumeration on this type, which is active services. So, typing this, you will see the active win application and other stuff easily. So, let's go to the other option, which is, uh, for example, if you would like to uh, dash u and here we type dash o actually I'm going to do some uh, fast enumerations it's the most important one uh, so we can also we use kernel inspection tool would help you uh, search through the whole database for Windows kernel vulnerabilities. So all you have to do is actually type in that's it. Dash e. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, you can use that if you wanted to send the results directly to the web application or you can just adapt it and start from the terminal. Uh, anyway, uh, we can actually benefit from the upload file from the target machine into uh, Minigoose web application. In my case, I, I will use it, uh, the, the last one. Uh, you can enumerate for Windows Assistant session related information like this. Dash I and then Okay, perfect. 
Uh, there is some options that would, you will be interested in it. For example, if you wanted to search in any file for a keyword, just we type 64-L and then here the driver you would like to search for it. For example, password. And then in my case, I'm going to look for this. And it will scan the whole system for this specific uh, string as you can see this this one contains a string which is password would be benefit in your uh, your enumeration target looking for the proof or for looking for specific string that contains the password so this is will shorten the list for, for shorting your uh, your time actually uh, we can enumerate and source of software uh, besides that we can make um, access to check permission like this it's super fast actually so the last thing I'm just interested to do is uh, the ability to upload files from the target Windows machine into our download center in Monogus. So uh, this is can be done actually through the, the specific new feature we'd like if I will going to uh, explore. So if we go here for example Dashboard. This is the exploits that's found on the system with the code link for it. Uh, this is the system information. Yeah, this is actually one of these things that's vulnerable to always install the data which is if you can make this attack directly to compromise the machine and you will get the, the higher uh, permission level on the system. So this is this box is vulnerable to it actually. Uh, there is user information access check permission which is uh, currently under scanning. So in this case you can click on these and you will see the, the privileges here. So in this case, if the current user is admin, means that we'll see this is number one, which is true. Uh, in this case, this is uh, just a normal user. This is the current privileges, which is enabled and disabled on the system. This is also available on many goods. Uh, if you go here, if you don't know, I don't know if you finish it doing that. This is the access check for writable folders. With the current level means that in this level you are able to uh, to write uh, on these specific locations. Oh, the the second thing that I am going to use is how to upload files from the vulnerable machine or the compromised machine to our download center. We are going to use dash t for that purpose so in this case I'm gonna to type for example I'm gonna to select a file which is called well EPS1 for example so uh, what I'm gonna do is just type 64-exe-t and then first we have to specify the file name in my case which is uh, all EPS1 and then we type the uh, API location like this with the password. So when you type enter, you uploaded this file to the download center. You can upload any file actually you would like to. So if you go to here, let's go to download center. you'll be able to download file directly 
from the that's it actually the the all features of mana goose that come across you can discover all of these just grab a copy from there and start building and enumerating successfully thank you